Hello guys and welcome back on the Foctech for new video. Today I will explain you how to use OBS Studio, the new version released a month ago. I will also explain you how to do li the live streaming on Facebook because they changed it, so it's a bit different now, but still the same concept. So first, what you can do and what I will explain you is how to add a camera, like webcam. I will show you how to if you want to play your video, many people request on the comments how I can play your video on Facebook Live. So I will explain you how to play a video. And also I will explain you how you can add an image and display an image on your streaming. Display some text, capture a monitor, so you can capture all the monitor if you play a video game and you want to share that, you can do it quite easily. First, what we have to do is create a scene. So, for example, I created the first one is scan and I had a sources, so I just click over there and video capture device and I just name it webcam on it here. So, after that, if I want to create a new scene, so I will click add and I will do video scene, click OK. So now, as you can see, it's turned black. If I go with a cam, it's working, but over there it's black. I will click on the plus, and I will click on media sources, okay? Media sources, media source, and we click, I just create a name, so video, for example. Click OK. What we have to do now is browse. We will browse, we will find our video. So, for example, I will click browse, I will go to my video and let's put this one. So this one is one of the video I did a long time ago. And now what I will do, I will create a loop. Okay. We can click OK. And now as you can see I can just turn off the audio because I don't want that. But the video is playing with music and everything. If I'm going back on cam we can see me, I will use the webcam, and if I'm going back on scene, we can see the video, okay, so pretty cool. What we can do is add another scene, so we will set picture, and then here, sources we create and we hit image, so we call it image, easy, and what we have to do is browse, we just click there, picture, and for example, let's put this one. So great, this is what we want. Let's click OK. What you can do is adjust. So you click on the picture and you just make it at the size you want. So we got this one now. For example, here we can see the what we put fade. So in 300 milliseconds. I will, yeah, I will have a fade. Looks pretty cool for me. I prefer that than just normal cut. I can choose, I can change it a cut or a fade. Fade looks a bit better for some stuff. So here we're going back on the video, starting from zero. And cam, the webcam. Okay, so now we have three scenes. So let's create a new one. And Let's call it monitor. What we will do, we will try to share our monitor. We will choose display caption, our display. Let's leave it default name. And here, obviously, we got a loop, but you can see what I'm sharing is my monitor. So I'm doing that. The video going down with my video okay with a local file now my picture and now my monitor really easy up we create another scene just scene for example and we just go there and we create a text Text and 
over there, we would be able to create a message or a text for someone to explain something or just to display like welcome on the text. We can change the font. Okay, so now what we have to do, we just click OK, I use the default color and I just make it bigger, not not too big. Okay, it's pretty basic what I show you. You can definitely custom that and make it really nice, maybe with a picture on the back or some stuff like that. But what we want, just something pretty basic. So for example, we arrive on the streaming, I start. So I start the streaming and the people all the time they connect, they just arrive there, okay? And I can maybe just, I don't know, like just put my picture for the second one and now when I would come and say, hello guys, welcome back on the Foctech. Hopefully you enjoy it, if you enjoy it, thumbs up. And after that, we can play the videos and I also, can share my monitor to explain like if I do a video tutorial like what I'm doing now. So pretty easy. We are here. So now we install and set up all our scenes. So what we will do, the concept is we need to stream that. So we can stream it on Facebook for example. It will be the best option to do it. And it will be our goal for today. Stream it on Facebook. So you need to go over there on settings. So just click settings. Here you got some options. I will not go through all the settings, okay? But we will go to the basic. The most important for me is streaming, so let's click on stream. And we will choose our stream type. So over there, we can custom the streaming server or streaming services. We will leave streaming services because with the new version, we have by default Facebook Live. And the stream key, this is the most important. To find it, we will go, for example, on our fan page. So my one is the Frogtech. I click on Publishing Tools, Video, and in Video, I click Live. What I need is that, the stream key. Just copy it, put it over there, apply. Okay, I just click on Preview now. And I can put some details, so like streaming OBS Studio 2016. I will put some information over there. And as you can see, I'm offline. Why? It's very easy. I need to click Start Streaming. Since I click Start Streaming, you wait like 5 to 10 seconds, you will see the streaming will start straight away on Facebook. Let's hit the button. So it's connecting. If I'm going back over there, you will see it will change quickly. There we go. Now what we need to do is just wait to see my face. Perfect. And now click go live. What I will do, I will enable the microphone. Why? Because when I will talk, people on Facebook they can see me but they can also hear me and so we have some details about how many people are watching right now what I will do I will go on the frog tech on my page over there and we will see the frog tech is live now so it's mean I'm doing the streaming right now okay if I just click over there it's working. We are live. And I can change over there. I can play the video. So I'm playing the video. If you wait a few seconds, you will see over there the image will change and we will go on the video I'm playing. You will have a delay, like I want 10 to 20 seconds maximum. And if I want to change it, just put picture live now. Okay, so I just explained how to just change. If you have few cameras, for example, 
a different angle it's awesome like if you are a bit professional and even if I share my monitor so guys if you play video game you can definitely do that you, you can record or you can stream it you can stream it live and this can be really cool for you if I'm going here wait a few seconds and I will get my monitor it's pretty bad so let's go back on my face okay pretty bad as well it's late I'm tired but it's working and it's much better it's awesome 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 and it's really great so guys if you like the video subscribe to the channel put a thumbs up and feel free to share the video with your friends thank you very much guys see you soon for a new video